Um, Leila, what Ben's describing is what you might call a slow fuse. Um, and those are all the kind of events, you know, the, the lack of credibility with institutions, um, uh, economic uh, uh, repression, you know, human rights violations, all those things led to an explosion in Egypt in 2011. Mm -hmm. um, are all these things such a slow fuse that the Trump administration actually gets a pass uh, and the region is bubbling, but nothing so terrible? Well, I think, yes, the Arab Spring happened um, in 2011 under the Obama administration. This war has been raging on for years. People have in Syria and this, this last administration didn't have a very effective policy and has been widely criticized for that. I actually think what what this is a world where everybody's looking inward now. Um, populism, we care about ourselves, we care about our own citizens, we don't care about anybody else, we want to stay inside. And some of the policies that have been implemented so far, the, the, the banning of these countries, those types of things, have caused concerns among some saying, well, will this provoke a possible attack that it says it will? it will stop, right? And I think the thing that will make the Trump administration look at the Middle East differently and maybe dangerously, I don't know, is if there is some type of attack on American soil, honestly. I think that will change and focus the policy in a different way. Right now, it's very hard to predict uh, where it will look, where the administration will look, because it hasn't communicated policy. It doesn't have ambassadors in many embassies. Um, nobody really knows uh, what the foreign policy goals are, except that he doesn't want to look at the rest of the world, he wants to look at America first. Um, so I think there's that, and I think um, a lot of what you talked about, the slow fuse, is that there is no international cop as America has often been portrayed to be. So maybe that. <laughs>